Hello and welcome to another edition of Father and Son Gaming. I hope you've uh, enjoyed our story titles so far, both on our Twitch channel, which you can find at, by going to Red Zone, R E D Z O N E O 4. Uh, that's just a temporary name. They, they make you use a temporary name for the first couple months. Um, we're going to be switching that, obviously, to Father and Son Gaming or some version thereof. Uh, so go ahead and check that out, as well as uh, I hope you're enjoying our YouTube channel. Um, we have completed a series on Battletech. Uh, I've taken you through the entire story mode, so... If you haven't checked that out please go ahead and check that out it's a great comprehensive series on battletech the game we're going to hit the pause button on that series because we're waiting for new content to come out so uh still definitely interested in that game in the meantime speaking of new content i'm going to go back and play some stellaris uh the reason i'm going to do that is i put in about 1500 hours in this game back when it first came out in 2016. And then um, there's been a number of DLCs, there's been some add-ons, there's been some story mode enhancements, including Distant Stars, which just came out this past week. So I thought it would be a good opportunity while we're waiting for new titles to come out that we want to do series on, to do a series on, Sol on Solaris, especially since we have all these new story modes that came out. In fact, I, when I checked, I was surprised to find out there was like five DLCs and two story enhancements that had come about since the last time I played this game. So hopefully in many ways this will be like a new game. Um, and I haven't played it in two years, so it's going to be a situation where I definitely know the basics and the mechanics of the game, but I'm going to be going through it slowly as I remember how to play the game. So uh, those of you that haven't watched or played Solaris before, I hope you, hopefully you will find it interesting. And those of you that have played this game before, hopefully the new features are going to make this worth watching. So let's just roll through this game now one of the things that was interesting in the one of the new dlcs was the fact that you could actually play as a mechanical being so <clears throat> I, since this is a new feature i thought i would try it out so i've taken on the role of the earth custodianship so basically these are robots and you can read through this whole summary it's been on the screen for a minute or two. So basically these robots have come up, come to the point where they've taken over uh, the control and management of the human race. So they are not a race in and of themselves per se. Well, I guess they kind of are because they've evolved, but their whole purpose is to uh, take care of humans. So this is gonna be interesting to see how this works out. So to look at the <clears throat> traits that we have here, again, I use the box or standard version of this custodian role uh, versus manipulating the uh, values and benefits because I just wanted to check it out. So ethically, uh, we cannot use democratic, oligarchic, dictatorial or imperial authority rulers are immortal so that's kind of interesting so our rulers are immortal i'm assuming that our scientists are also immortal so they're going to gain experience at a higher level uh, so that's kind of interesting um so if we are taken over, if our population is taken over by another um, entity, we just can't survive. So we'll just shut down. So I assume if we get conquered, we just lose that population. So that's pretty serious. Um, we can use a no retreat war doctrine, 
which makes sense because our robots literally can't survive it under the dictatorship of anybody else. Uh, war exhaustion gain is minus 20%, so we're less apt to have a concern about being at war because we have um, situations where <clears throat> we're robots, so we'll just fight forever almost. Um, our piracy risk is minus 33 because we are robots. There are going to be a lot of rebellions against us. Monthly insolence is plus one, which is a little low. Core systems is plus two. All right, so that's where we stand so far. And I'll give you guys another minute to take a look at this. And we will get started. Again, I'm gonna start out a little slow, number one, because people who haven't played this series before might need to understand it a little better. And number two, I haven't played this for a year and a half, so I have to refresh myself on a couple things. But uh, it should come pretty straightforward. Again, I put in about 1,500 hours on this when it first came out. So I understand the game pretty well. Now, it's going to be, again, like a whole new game because there's been lots of additions, like the ability to play as a robot, which I think is awesome. <clears throat> and it's kind of ironic you know because we just did a series on battle tech right and now we're going to be a robot so there we go all right so here we are uh we start out in the earth galaxy which is pretty cool uh let's take a look at the uh, galaxy map here <laughs> So those of you that are familiar with the game, you have a galaxy <coughs> that you start out in. There's a core typically, and then there's the outer <coughs> areas, excuse me, surrounding the core. Uh, generally, I like to be in the middle to the outside because you find you have less competition, you have more room to grow um, versus being in the core, which you might have some richer worlds, but there's going to be a lot more competition. So I'm happy with that. So that's a good starting point. Now, the first things we need to do is we need to start building up our resources. So we're going to take our construction ship here and we're going to get them started on building a mining station to get some energy. Now our science ship, again, so this is interesting. So again, our scientist is a robot. So theoretically, he's not going to, um, he's not gonna grow old, he's not going to die. He's, not, he's just gonna slowly continue to get better and better as a scientist. So I find that very interesting. Now, what do we have locally that he can explore? I don't see anything locally that he can explore. Normally, normally there's stuff that you could explore. Click an object to survey our entire s system. All right, so we're gonna click. <clears throat> I'm really rusty here. I used to remember how to do this, so. Bear with me here. Maybe they changed it, but I could have sworn you just clicked on one planet. Oh. Oh, I see. 
messy with the programs. So what, what <clears throat> I think has happened here, and this is a new twist, maybe this is part of the new um, scenario, is we have already surveyed the home, the home uh, system. That's what's throwing me off here, is usually in the past, you had to survey your home system. This might be part of the new DLC that's encouraging people to explore. So what we need to do is select a system outside of the planet. Ooh, all right, so this is a trinary star. Now, another thing that's changed <clears throat> is instead of being able to warp, you now have to use these hyperplanes. So that's gonna, impact our strategy here a fair amount so because you have to go in a more orderly fashion to check out the planets so before what I used to do is I used to go blink 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 and just touch highlight each one like watch I'll do that so if I remember how to do it so we're gonna do control Shift. <coughs> I'm gonna have to figure it out. In any event, um, maybe let's control, control, explore system. There you go. So you hit the control button, and what it does is it lets you give multiple explore orders. Survey system. Maybe it's shift. Sorry guys, explore. Yeah, there we go. So you have to hit shift. And then you can select multiple survey options. <coughs> so we got that going for us. Another thing I always do in this game is we do have our uh, startup fleet. Usually it's just three Corvettes. Again, that's new. Huh. So we can't go anywhere with our fleet until we've explored? Hmm. That's definitely new. So I guess our fleet's just gonna have to hang around for a little while. Let's look at our shipyard. Star base, our defenses, and we're going to build a ship here. That's the only ship we have available. So we have to research. have to research the ability to uh, explore interesting all right so we got physics research building physics labs improved deflectors storage capacity definitely gonna build deflectors society research space training Unlock Starbase Building, External Acoustics Area. Zone for interfacing with the universe outside of self for material gain. That's, that's new. <clears throat> so I think we're gonna do this space training. Holes. Okay, so 
Sorry guys, I, I have to refresh myself a little bit, and I think some of these things are just things that develop during the DLC. So we'll we'll kind of treat this like it's a new game, right? Um, which is good for those of you that haven't seen this game before. And we'll just kind of walk through this step. So now that we've given our people everything to do, and I'm really confused about why I can't build. Oh, okay. I clicked on a planet that didn't have a spaceport, and it should have grayed it out. It used to gray it out, but it didn't before, so I thought I'd, I had selected. Okay, so that makes more sense. So given the fact that this is an exploration ma, uh, DLC, I definitely want to make sure we're getting our science ships maxed out. Uh, probably need another construction ship as well. But at least let's get the uh, exploration going here. So what you do in this game is once you're ready, you've given everybody order. We let pause, right? And we let our... So our, our science ship is going to go outside. Construction complete. Ooh, I like that voice. We encountered some form of alien vessel in the Yama system. These strange objects have been flagged as alpha aliens. We should proceed with caution. Interesting. We have encountered advanced alien life. Contact seem inevitable. All right, so we're going to pause. Because what you could do here is that we could go to science. And. We should have the ability to do the special event. Here we go. So we can. We can research, investigate alpha aliens, but it's going to slow down our other research, especially in the society research chain. Um, in my experience, you always want to try to investigate these aliens. It usually is far more beneficial than holding off. So let's go ahead and do that. It's going to slow down our societal research, but Again, that's usually worth it. So now we have our second science ship. Now generally, I've found out scientists that ha are that have a societal research usually are good for these early stage missions. extra one so we have to recruit a scientist hyperbolt h2 uh, pretty interesting so this one is a leader recruitment cost this guy has more experience This guy has survey speed of plus 20. So it's going to cost us 100 of energy, but we're going to get a more experienced recruit. So I'm going to do that. And now our second science vessel has need some order. So let's go out to the galaxy map. What you could do is, 
see as people ex as we explore the hyperplanes will then become more visible so what we're going to do is we're going to have this scientist explore this way right as far as you can. All right, so let's go to our shipyard next. So we've got everybody exploring. So the next thing we need to do Once we get enough, so we're going to fast forward here, we need to get another construction ship going. A little slow on resources. Construction there, complete. All right, that'll help. So as you can see, as our construction units uh, have certain jobs, and they complete those jobs, then our resources go up. Makes sense, right? Let's look at our construction ship. And we need to give him multiple jobs here, so. Right, that's already built. for the mining station yet, but we can send him over there for that. Starting to come back to me now. It's amazing when you play a game, like I, I knew this game like the back of my hand when I played it almost two years ago, but now <clears throat> not only are some of the features updated, but you know, you, I've probably played 50 other games in the meantime. So we got our second construction ship going and being built. So <clears throat> now we'll just wait to get enough resources to build over here. We need a 90. Construction complete. Now I got a second construction ship. Uh, we need some resources to special project complete. Um, right. <clears throat> Spaceborne life forms, which are called the trike, are docile creatures capable of accessing some lower dimensions of subspace. Uh, they will not attack unless provoked. They can safely be ignored. Okay. All right, that's good to know. That's almost always your first incident, but you kind of have to research all the aliens because you never know. Uh, not yet, almost. Almost enough. Now, normally when I played this game, I would spend more resources on developing resources versus exploring, at least in the first couple turns. But this, since this uh, update is really an exploration update, I just wanted to see what we got going on here. So, let's take a look at one of these other systems that were... So, our survey team is going through... Kind of a traditional system, nothing of a surprise yet. So we're just gonna let uh, 
the survey system do their thing. We've got this other side ship that's about ready. currently surveying right over here so interesting I could have sworn I told it to survey this system but all right that's fine we'll get them all surveyed eventually <clears throat> so let's go to the solar system got quite a bit to develop here we just need some resources so we'll advance time a little bit here system survey complete All right. interesting what do we got All right. pretty straightforward system there so he's gonna just move on to the next system right Waiting for my second construction ship. Let's get him in position to develop Titan once we have some money. Construction complete. <clears throat> All right, we have some more resources. Alright, I have enough unity to develop a new tradition. Alright, this is something that's new. Alright, so we can select expansion. Domination. Prosperity. Synchronicity. Ooh, that's interesting. That's pretty. Ooh, increases our monthly influence by one. Ooh, that might be the way we have to go, given the fact that we're robots. Supremacy, versatility. That's also good, too. Discovery. I think I have to go with synchronicity just because of the fact that we are a robot society, basically. I mean, there are humans. They're just, uh, you know, they're just sitting there on Facebook and playing video games while the computers do, all, the robots do all the work. So sign me up. Sounds like the humans have a pretty good deal in this this alternate future, right? Or I don't know if it's even an alternate future because we could be headed that way, interestingly enough. So. Scientists scan the surface of Dagnar P2 and it becomes quite clear we found something out of the ordinary. Its composition and history provides extra material that we should take an opportunity to gather. Our survey has come across even more regular years like this as we survey new planets and we shouldn't underestimate the impact of our expansion. Interesting. Alright, so we found some good resources on another map. So that's good. Good resources. All right, let's keep developing our solar system while our other systems get explored here. So now we have enough to do uh, this build. Alright, 
Now I feel like I feel like we should do another explorer. to develop another scientific ship or so. Ooh. We discovered artifacts of an ancient civilization on the Morty One. Must must have been active in this region of space approximately 12 million years ago. We've been able to piece together our scientists theorize these aliens who call themselves the Voltum Star Assembly were worm-like animids, roughly four to three to four meters in length, and they communicated through vibrations carried along their bodies. Okay. Situation log adjusted. All right. So now we can go to our situation log. So we could select, we could collect artifacts from this culture. <coughs> Let's go check out. Right, so we're doing our survey. And we're going to be looking for artifacts from this particular planet. Barren world, barren world. Do we have anything that we've explored so far that looks like a world that we want to... Uh, got a barren world, a barren world, molten world. How about a now, since we're robots, does it really matter what kind of world we have? But although we still want to explore, we still want to expand to Earth-like worlds because our job is to... Ooh, okay, so this is a binary star system. Interesting. I feel like our science ship should be exploring this Alpha Satari for sure. So this goes back to the fact that we need, in my opinion, another science ship. Construction complete. Includes all the development we could do of our home system. So now, this is where it gets interesting. So our our uh, construction ships need to start going out and taking advantage of what's out there. So. Set our construction ships. Out to these other planets. So we can start developing those resources. I still feel like we need another science ship, so I think that's going to be the next thing we're going to do once we get to a system survey complete. All right, pause. There are signs of activity by an ancient precursor civilization in this inhospitable rock. All right, so we're definitely going to research that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, how's our 
another surveying going. No orders. I told you to survey all of these planets. So, all right. So what you're gonna do? ship come around and focus on this anything interesting here so we got a molten world molten world barren world barren world frozen world not the most hospitable places but again we're robots so I think eventually we could colonize them and then maybe make them more hospitable for human life like it shouldn't limit us so we have enough here. we'll do our soul system and then we're going to build another scientific construction fleet. We really need to get some uh, more resources going here. Construction complete. All right, what do we construct? All right, so we built another science ship. So what we need to do is come back to the construction ship. After we get this other science ship working, so we need to assign a leader. We need to recruit a leader. guy who's expert in propulsion industry or a guy who's new who doesn't cost us anything I don't like uh, let's go with the uh, guy who has industrial experience go back out and fix our mistake here Survey system, survey system. Survey system. That'll be good for now. resources to build some mining platforms here. Build a 
outpost. Alright, so that's gonna have to be next. Forgot about that. Alright, so. They make expansions so hard in these games sometimes. So these guys, this needs to build a outpost before we can build mining facilities. All right, so we're kind of at a uh, stopping point a little bit there. All right, remains of a small Vatium Helium-3 mining base have been found at the bottom of a large crater. Blast has created a crater that seems to have originated from inside the facility itself. Unless vacuum mining techniques were radically different from our own, equipment flavor is probably accounts for a massive explosion. Situation log adjusted. Alright, so we can actually research. Can we not research that? Search that after they do the survey missions. Excellent. One of the things I've noticed is you don't want to necessarily stop your survey missions early on to investigate anomalies. Sometimes it's better to simply add it to the current mission that they have on. So you can continue to develop the map and then go back and do the anomalies. I know everybody gets excited about the anomalies, uh, especially when they first start playing the game. But right now, especially since this um, DLC is dedicated towards expiration, I want to make sure that we're pushing our expiration as much as possible. things about this game is mm -hmm. our scientists and leaders aren't going to die since we're robots so we probably develop at a lower rate but as long as we don't get destroyed so protecting our scientists is going to be very important but as long as we don't get destroyed then theoretically we should be in good shape here so mm -hmm going on with this development of getting close to being done developing this uh, outpost construction complete yes we are good all right so how does that impact the map so as you can see our sphere of influence is a lot higher. Still not high enough to go up here, so we're gonna have to build another outpost up there. A little frustrating. All right, so this guy's done building this outpost, which means we can finally, once we get to 90, start building stuff here. Okay, fill the mining station. Alright, 
as you can see, oh, oh, we've got an alien. Oh, it's the space whales, they're fine. All right, so we can add, a, so we added synchronicity already. I think we're gonna definitely do discovery here. a new addition that they didn't have before. I, I don't know if that's part surface of variable detected. one of the earlier DLCs or it's part of this DLC, but it's new to me. Signs of activity by an ancient precursor civilization on this hun unhospicable rock. Alright, so this is the Robacha system. So, uh, this is close enough that I'm going to tell my science ship to go ahead and research this. And then what I could do is I could just have it continue on with its other survey work. Construction complete. Finally getting some uh, resources here. So the next thing I need to do actually is I need to get this guy working. Move him over here so he can build a uh, outpost. Anomalous surface variable detected. System survey complete. takes in the early stages of this game just to get your civilization going here. Construction complete. All right, so yeah, you know, we're slowly expanding. We need to do some colonization because that's the much more efficient way of expanding. All right, so this guy. That's our biggest issue right now, is getting uh, these mining stations going.
populate. Oh, so we do have humans that do some of our work for us. That's interesting. I thought it would all be robots. So I guess some humans still want to do a little work, right? They're not totally bored. All right, so we can clear some stuff on the home planet here. So we can keep uh, growing on the home planet. That took a lot of energy, but that's okay. Important to do. So one of the things we need to do, hopefully, is get some... Uh, we need to really start building some colony ships, and I'll tell you why. Because that's really the fastest way for us to expand. One of the things I really hate about this game is you need to have influence points to build, to expand out. Um, unless you're colonizing, which... I think it's kind of weak, this influence point system. I kind of get it, so it adds some depth and makes you think carefully about how you're going to expand. Um, there are cheats, so you can simply just increase your influence. Um, and sometimes I use those just because I find it ridiculous that you have to... I, I don't use it for everything, but if I'm like... Dude, I need to build an outpost over here, but I don't have enough influence. All right, I'll just give myself like the minimum to get the outpost, just because I think it's kind of stupid that they limit your ability to build outposts. What does political influence have to do with expanding and building an outpost, especially if you're a robot culture, right? So. So what we need to do, I need to save up and start building a colony ship. So we're just going to let everybody explore. That's kind of a catch-22, right? Because if I'm not building things, right? If I'm not building things... Construction complete. I got my um, breakdown and build one more mineral facility here. And then focus on building that. Because I need minerals to build, right? So... I really want a colony ship because I think Alpha Centauri almost always has some good colonizing opportunities. All right, so uh, our scientists are getting gaining levels. Now again, I think that these levels were lower are coming slower than when I had humans or another species, just because I think robots learn at a slower rate, but then again, they're not gonna die as soon as they become great scientists. So I think construction it's a good complete. Trade -off. All right, so we're finally increasing our uh, capacity here. Now I seriously think we're going to start saving for a colony ship. Planetary alert. Tile blocker expunged. So what happened there, for those of you that haven't played before, is we were going to 
I should have explained this. So, did you see those tiles that were blocked with like a construction zone? Those are areas that had like maybe radioactive waste or it had something that was keeping us from building on that tile. So I spent a lot of energy to clear out the tiles on Earth so we can keep our population growing and productive. Um, so once you clear a tile, then it becomes able, uh, available for development. And if we click on here, we could build, for example, now they, they, one thing they do, so for example, this is a power tile. So if, if I do a power plant on say this tile, it will give me plus two. But since this tile is already an energy tile, if I put a power plant there, it'll be two because there's already a base two. It'll be this two and it will actually add a third uh, so it'll be actually plus five. So it's really valuable to stack. I'm gonna go ahead and do that over just to get a little more energy. I know I said I was gonna save for a uh, colonization ship and I will do that. What's going on here? Cause this, this research is holding me up here. Hopefully it's not going to take too much longer. Because I'd like to get this guy back to surveying. Because I need Alpha Centauri to open up. And there's probably going to be a couple habitable worlds on Alpha Centauri. There usually is. Which is fine because I can start building the colony ship because it takes a while. Ooh, we've captured a small satellite was found in orbit along Robota 2. It's been set up to continuously repeat a message until its power source drained millions of years ago. We salvaged the transmission array but only could recover a small portion of the transmission. The main purpose of the satellite was apparently to preach the domination of the Vulturan philosophy to neighboring civilizations. Its message speaks to the needs to the need to disconnect and embrace true existence, whatever that means. Okay. Situation log adjusted. survey mission? I thought you were done. Alright, so we're going to research the satellite, I guess. I thought you just did that. System survey complete. Civilizations. At some point, the trade post appears to have been converted into a religious mission where the Bactium continued to convert visiting alien merchants to their philosophy. Situation log adjusted. Construction complete. Okay, and build our first colony ship. That's going to take a while, which is fine because I need to find a home for the colony ship. Is there any 
anything worth building on. Got a molten world. Again, I don't think it matters so much because we're robots about where we put our planet, our uh, colonization. But remember, we still have humans as part of our population. So Terran worlds are still going to be ideal. Like, I feel like if I put a colony in a molten world, like robots can live there, but I don't think we're going to get a human population to grow there. And, and remember, our goal as a species, I guess you could say, since the robots are considered a species, is to enhance is to enhance the uh, ability to uh, grow the human civilization, right? So, we're doing lots of research right now, which is fine. But I would really like to open up Alpha Centauri hopefully for a new colony because it's such a much more cost-effective way to expand right, so got an inactive building here so the question is do I want to move a population? I think I do. So I want to move this population there. Just to be able to do that. Unless I'm doing it wrong. Let's see. Maybe it has to be a robot? Maybe a robot has to work. Oh, I think I see. I think I got, okay. So our humans, if you notice, are working on more esoteric things, you know, science and influence, things that they enjoy. A human, basically this human is saying, I don't want to go work at a power plant. Whereas if I wanted to, I could move a robot to work at that power plant. Um, so, that's okay. So we're just gonna leave that alone for now. Eventually that power plant will populate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that's interesting, because the humans apparently are willing to work on certain things that they like. So that, that kind of makes sense with our story, right? Because our robots are designed to make humans happy and they're happy by doing things that they're interested in and not necessarily generating... System, system survey complete. Special project complete. We're stacking up here. So careful analysis of the transmitter array are... Archaeologists, data engineers have concluded the machinery does not contain any te technologies of value, so that was wasted resource. Project has greatly understood our understanding of primary programming language. This will be useful in the future. Eh. Okay. Massive rifts almost look like writing. So we can go ahead and research that. That's fine. All right, now we can actually. Uh, our construction ship. Building some stations here. Get a little more energy going. Ooh, OK. 
Okay. Versatility, population build cost reduced by 10%. Shipbuilding. All right, so this guy's free now. So I need him to just. We'll finish exploring that system later, but I need Alpha Centauri to be surveyed right, right away. I know there's going to be at least one Terran planet there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this construction ship moving on a research station there. That's good. Keep these guys working. Construction complete. Now, the question is, I could build some more outposts, but I built an outpost up here to just expand in this direction. That might be worth doing. So let's spend, let's send that uh, construction ship over there to build eventually build a outpost. laser from orbit writing to carve a large body of writing massive script covers a large portion of the moon's upper atmosphere and appears to be a short story chronicling the difficult life of an alien mercenary okay that doesn't really help me very much thing I don't like is the fact that my Navy really can't do anything. So it's just kind of sitting there. That's fine, because I, I know we should have... Now, it said that we have a 33% chance, less chance of having pirate activity. So I'm wondering if we're not going to have pirate you, almost always complete. in this game, the pirates start causing trouble, and that's where your navy starts to come into play early on. But if that's not going to be the case here, that's interesting. All right, so this ship is kind of done with everything it could do at Bernard Star. So I'd like to move it to Alpha Centauri, because I know we're going to be expanding Alpha Centauri once we do the survey mission there. How's the construction of our uh, colony ship coming? Hopefully it's not too much longer. Almost done, 28 turns. So that's good. Almost feel like I should consider building another science ship or a construction ship. Um, but let's let that colony ship build and see where we are with exploration at that point. Construction. 
Construction complete. Alright, uh oh. Our energy is in the negative. So we're gonna have to uh, address that. Alright, so our colony ship has been built. That's good. So we're going to cheat a little bit. I don't know if it's cheating, but I'm going to just move our colony ship to Alpha Centauri. I mean, there's so much. That's one of the cool things about this new um, expansion is, look, we've got the equivalent of one and a half star systems here. So there's got to be at least, correction, three star systems here. So, and this one is a continental world. We at least know that. So we're definitely going to have opportunities to, to grow into Alpha Centauri, which is awesome. All of our ships are busy, except for the military. They're just kind of goofing around. crazy here, but I really feel like... What do I need more? I think I need a construction ship more here. Because we're going to get to the point where we're going to start constructing like crazy. Now, what can I do about this energy shortfall? Let's look at the surface. Population is growing much slower than I would like. Four, four. So there's no move. One thing I can do, at least for the short term, is I can move this guy here. It's going to slow down our minerals a little bit. But I don't want to have an energy shortfall. So let's do that in the short term. We'll build some, some mining platforms to offset that change. They're losing credits at an alarming rate. Last month's budget report makes for some grim reading. Construction complete. So this case, we want to consider disbanding some of our ships, armies, or stations. Alright, so Oh okay. So that's because our energy was negative before, but now it's up again. So I think we're gonna be okay. Planets resources. Ship design, we're going to get into all this later. Okay, so, so we, we now have positive energy credits. So that was just a trailing uh, alert. Ooh. All right, so we got a alpine world here. That's good. So we're definitely finding some planets that we can expand to, which is awesome. Where's our colony ship? Alright, our colony ship is still... 
slowly moving over to Alpha Centauri. Anomalous surface variable detected. Alright. Terra continent of Alpha Centauri 3 is blanketed by a strange growth that seems at odds with the rest of the planet's fauna. Yeah, we're definitely going to research that. Because I'm going to really try to grow in Alpha Centauri. Especially since that's one of the places I want to grow. I want to... Uh, Colonized, so let's definitely check that out. How's our research going? I haven't heard anything from the research team in a while. So we still got a lot of time before we get some stuff researched here. Again, I feel like our scientists start a little slower. After intense study and sampling of the growth blanketing the entire biosphere, the Centurion N reports that the substance is not native to the planet, but rather an invasive fungal life form. Fungal feeds on biomatter, choking off existing planet life and developing terrain. Any future settlers on this planet would have to deal with this returning back the exofundus. I don't know. Okay. So, we colonize that planet, which I think we have to, right? Anomalous surface variable detected. Large impact crater. Sure. Research it. So, do we want to colonize? that planet. I almost feel like we have to, and we're just going to have to deal with the biofungal issue. Alright, so another thing we can do is we can start, uh, we can't build here until we colonize, darn it. Alright, so what we need to do is we need to just bite the bullet and colonize this planet. Are you kidding me? This is frustrating. So I gotta build a outpost before I can build a colony. I forgot about that. So that's fine. I've got the pieces in place. I just have to wait for this survey to be completely done. Encountered some form of alien vessel. In the Mardome system, these strange objects have been flagged as Mardome until we can learn more about them. Okay, so we can go to the situation log. We'll uh, research the Mardome. Interesting. Take a look. Wow. So it's a. Uh, huh. It's an alien star base. Very strong one. So we definitely would like them to be friends. That is for sure, because they're very close to so. Gained a 
level. That's great. System survey complete. All right, good. Alpha Centauri survey system is complete. Now, can I now do a colonization? No. Such a waste of resources. So I have to actually build an outpost before I can colonize. Seems very counterintuitive. But, and then what I have to do is I have to remember once I colonize the planet, I have to then tear down that outpost. Otherwise, it's going to cost us resources for no real gain. There's a small defensive benefit, but not significant. Construction complete. All right, so now we've got our new science vessel here. Recruit. I need a cheap one because this is costing me a lot of money, so. We're gonna go with the free. Free guy. Right. Free recruit. Just because I can't just keep giving. At some point, you have to say, you know what? I'll take the uh, Ricky see if he can develop. So let's put him on a path where he does doing some surveys in this other direction here. Ooh, he's got a big chunk of uh, stars to survey. This guy busy for a while. Okay. So, at some point, I need to build up my navy, but I don't like to invest in ships at this early stage because they're going to be very underpowered. Complete. Establish communications with the independent space station of the Artisan Troop. Oh, great. Okay. Visitor, it's a joyous occasion indeed. Oh, forgive my manners. I believe introductions are in order. We are the Art Artisan Troop. Our members have dedicated their lives to the pursuit of art, music, and culture, and all other things which makes existence bearable to the sapient being. Please, if you would, please share the wonder of our creation. Do not hesitate to contact us. Okay, so this is like a friendly neighbor. Um, so I like that. So let's communicate with these guys. Oh, this is interesting. This is very different than what I've seen before. So these are art artisans, right? So they have unique things that they can bring to the to the universe. And that's how you interact with them by talking about what's going on here. So we want to commission an art piece. Wish to become your patron. So what happens if we become their patron? I'm assuming we send them money. Let's find out about them. We are the Artisan Troop. Troop consists of several stations inhabited by creative from many worlds, all united with the desire to create a beautiful and safe haven. We bring our ideals and methods all around the galaxy. We provide many services to those who enjoy art. If you help sponsor our work, we might even be willing to organize larger events for your people. C 
you, if I say yes here, we'd have to pay minus a thousand. So we can't do that right now. Shoot, but I want to do something with them because I want to develop a relationship with them. Um, what if I do a art piece? Wow, that's really expensive. So, they're kind of like a mini species. Maybe they could become, become part of our, um, our empire at some point. But we can't afford, I can't afford $3,000 for a piece of, 3,000 energy for an art system right now. It's just not possible, so. I need some more energy so I can, it all comes down to Alpha Centauri. There's so many things I need to do there. I need the energy there, I need the resources there, I need to colonize there. Construction complete. Awesome. All right. So, what I need to do is I need to colonize this planet. Ooh, these antifungal spores. Matrix 2 in honor of the Borg, right? Just for the heck of it. So we're going to start a colony there. Now what that does mean is I can actually get these guys building some mining stations. In fact, I actually want to move uh, the second... Oh wait, no, 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 no. Forgot. So these guys are up here because I want to build an outpost here. So you need to stay here until we can build an outpost. Okay, let's just build an outpost here. Ah, oh, it's too far away right now. Now once Alpha Centauri gets built maybe we can build that so in the meantime just put all of our resources into Alpha Centauri for right now our construction resources Congratulations on having colonized the new world. Our colonists are now in the process of building their first settlement, but it will take time for them to become self-sufficient. Great, we're gonna have a drain of resources. Okay, great, great day. So now we got another colony, but we need to build out resources there as quickly as possible because we need construction complete more energy here so we need energy like there's no tomorrow
long in this game, at least early on. Construction complete. So our civilization is coming along here. We've got uh, one home planet. We got one colony that's about to become established. So things are going good. Construction complete. System survey complete. All right, so our science ship here. Kind of completed his uh, surveys, or has he? Not really. So, what he needs to do just need some new missions, right? So, let's keep surveying on this chain. Very curious about this. Uh, binary system there. Okay, it's so important to keep all of your ships doing stuff. Except your Navy. Apparently Navy's just going to hang out. Used to be able to do at least some initial uh, scientific Exploration system survey complete with your navy, but you can't apparently do that anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Yamal has got some energy. Resources are a problem. I now need more resources. Construction complete. So, you're going to build a star base. Built out in Alpha Centauri already? Yes, it is. So, and our other construction ship. We can go up here to help develop that territory.
right, so that's going to be our good, our initial video on the development of the Earth custodianship. I'm going to do another video um, really briefly for those of you that are streaming, that are watching a stream. I'm just going to take a quick bio break, as they say in the industry. And then I'm going to come back and continue streaming. So if you're watching the stream, I'll be back in approximately five minutes. If you're watching this on YouTube, look for the second video on our new Stellaris mission, which should be posted shortly. So on that note, we will take a quick break for the stream. And for the video, just look for the second video on Stellaris, which will be up very soon.